What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Cambodia. Today I'm talking to you guys from the capital of Phnom Penh. And I actually just got done filming a street food video for you guys here on the channel. But I'm in desperate need of a haircut and I just found this cool little barber shop that is located right on yeah, this street right here. I'm not exactly too sure what the name of this street is, but there's a lot of barber shops. There's a lot going on and I just asked him if I can come on in and get a haircut. So we're going to come on in and see how the Cambodian people get down on the haircuts. Join me for this little adventure from here in Cambodia. Let's make our way inside. Now, I thought they were actually going to cut my hair right here on this chair, but that's not exactly how it's happening. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, this is the chair. Awesome. Wow. Beautiful barber shop. Doing good. Thank you. Oh man, it feels so much better in here. It's so hot today. Oh man, I'm gonna see if they can turn the music down a little bit because we all know that the tube doesn't like the music at all. Wow, look at all the equipment that's right here. Is there, can we lower the music? Yeah, thank you. What a gentleman. Wow, in this haircut guys, you're not gonna believe it. It cost one dollar. How amazing is that? Thank you. Thank you. Look at how beautiful this barber shop is. So, so how are you? Um, good, good. Can I get just a little bit off the top skin fade? Yes. Medium? Medium. Yeah. Okay. And then the, the line? The line short. Yeah, the hard part. Thank you, sir. Oh man, this is nice. Now, I've done quite a few um, haircut videos here on the tube before, but a lot of them in Spanish. If you'd like to see those, click the link down in my description box to check out my Spanish channel because I did quite a few, especially in Venezuela. They got a lot of traction. However, this is the first one in Asia I've been recording. Actually, that's a lie. I did film one in Bangkok, but in Spanish. So this barbershop is actually very, very nice. I mean, look at all the equipment right here. He has all of his tools, two machines, some, some uh, scissors, a couple different clips, and I love the big mirror. And I also love how he went and put on his hat too. I actually think I'm gonna get a beer trip too. So I'm starting to look like an Eskimo. How's your day going? Good? Yeah. Very busy or not so busy? <laughs> I've been noticing that the language barrier here is actually quite hard to get past too. There's a few people that understand English, but yeah, English is actually very, very hard here. But my camera is quite bad too, so. Who's really in the wrong, right? I'm in their country. I should really be learning a couple more words, but to be able to come into a place on a vacation and be able to communicate fully is damn near impossible, especially with how much countries we move. I mean, next week we'll be in Vietnam, so. How long have you been cutting hair for, sir? How long you cut hair? How many years? How many? Yeah. Seven. Seven years? Yeah. Wow. Man, this haircut was much needed. I actually haven't had a haircut in like three weeks. And I'm the type of person that I need one like every two. So stay fresh, you know, stay fly, feel good.
Let me know what you guys think of the haircut videos down below in the comment sections and if you guys would like to see more. It's definitely a lot funner when um, people are a lot more talkative, but that is pretty hard here because of the barrier. So far so good, I like it. I like it set up too, it's very, very simple. You got all the, just the basic tools, but all you need, I mean, you got the two machines, the like, um, the buzzer to get that nice clean shave, a little blade, some scissors. Right here he has his like, what are they called, brushes, combs. Very nice barbershop. How many years the barbershop? Same hall. This is new? Ah, okay. I'm not too sure. Dude has a fat diamond ring too. You guys see that thing? Kinda hard not to, huh? I need to get me one of them. There's nothing quite like going to the barber shop. It's one of my favorite things to do. Especially when you can conversate with the barber. It's really nice going into a barber shop, just talking about whatever, you know, sports, whatever's been going on in life. And then walking out, it's almost like going to the therapist. Let me know if any of you guys can relate. And for you ladies watching, I know you guys feel the same way when you go to the salon. There's a reason you guys go and leave your husbands and boyfriends at home. Let's be honest. Very nice. Damn, he's clean with the clippers. This man is clean with the clippers. It always makes me wonder when I'm filming these videos and you can't really conversate with the people is like, what are they feeling right now? They're probably like, what the hell is this guy filming for? Why is he recording me with a GoPro? It's quite funny, but <laughs> it's also quite funny when most of you guys, or when a lot of you guys watch these videos and then when you're here in the city, you actually come and visit these people and then you show them the video. Then usually I'll get like someone commenting, hey, I was that guy in your video, or I was the one cutting your hair, or the one that sold you the shoes, that happened to me recently. And that's always quite nice, quite funny. No, I think this is actually going on my Chris Rodriguez channel. I don't think this one's actually gonna make the main channel just because of the interaction level. However, if you guys would like to see more, as I mentioned, check out my Spanish channel. My Spanish channel, Ni Tan Gringo. I have quite a bit of haircut videos on there that are extremely entertaining. I already feel so much better. Oof. So good.
It's hot in Cambodia. Cambodia hot. Yes. Very hot. Oh, that's a nice machine. I guess I got a good barber. Everybody's coming in and asking for him. Actually, not everybody. One person came in and asked for him. But right when I was first walking in here to ask if I can film my haircut experience, he had just got done with a customer. So He's definitely the popular one here in the shop. I mean, with a ring like that, who doesn't want a haircut, right? So basically, as of right now, we only got a few days left in Cambodia, and then we're heading off to Vietnam. We'll be in Vietnam for about 10 days before heading to India, and I'm really, really excited to kick off that series of videos because India is going to be insane. I mean, I've heard nothing but crazy things. I've seen some of the videos from that country before, and they look super entertaining, and I'm so excited to get on out there and film with you guys, especially because in India, um, fun fact, there's actually more people in India that speak English than the United States. That's obviously for population reasons. So it's going to be quite entertaining because I'll be able to interact with the locals a lot more than here. Oh no, I guess he's hopping on to that chair. Great vibes, huh? I love all of the um, different pictures that are up on the walls as well, too. Oh, hello there. Look who we have here. <laughs> Miss Gladys. Maybe we'll conversate with Gladys a little bit since we're having a silent haircut right now. What did you say? Oh, she's coming. She's coming to save the day. What did you say? <laughs> I said maybe we should conversate with you a little bit. Okay. How was your day? Amazing. I was filming a street food here in Cambodia and now I can't even breathe. <laughs> yeah, we ate so much, huh? Oh, you look good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you look amazing. There's I nothing, there's the nothing better than uh, compliments from Gladys. You like the tools too, huh? I like the tools. Look, he has so many cool stuff. And this gold? Ooh, bougie. Wow. Barber <laughs> shop sleep. Is Gladys going for a barber shop tour with the girlfriend? Yeah, I was about to. How do you know? <laughs> because I seen you took it from me and I was like, okay, well, she's in charge. <laughs> this should be a lot, uh, lot more fun now. Wow, yes, you look cool. Look at his technique. He's got some skill. Wow, sure. I, I love the way he cuts. I wonder if in this barber shop you get um, shampoo massage. I don't know. I don't know. If that's all included in the price, that's amazing. I mean, Did you tell them that's a thing here in Cambodia? No, I didn't. But if you guys haven't watched the main channel, man, I got a shampoo and conditioner massage at the Central Market because here in Cambodia, they love to do shampoo massage on the head. It's amazing. It's really amazing. So nice. I want to try because I haven't tried yet. I think you should try it. I think you should film it too. Yeah, I should film it, of course. And I know I mentioned it a lot, guys, but Glennis also started an English channel a few weeks back and it's been going incredibly well. So please make sure to check out her channel because if you can tell, she's extremely funny. And 
Yeah, she's made some pretty insane videos. By the time you guys see this one up, she ha she would have already posted her trying balut video here in Cambodia, which is insane. I'll let her tell you a little bit more about that afterwards. And Gladys, tell them what else you ate. Oh, thank you all for your support. I tried Balut. I also posted it on TikTok. Thank you so much for TikTok support too. And I also tried frog. Frog. Wow. She ate a stuffed frog. <laughs> I think right here, right next to us, there's a selling frog. Really? You want me to go check? I'll, I'll have some. Oh, that's a lie. I think I'll try some. I gotta finish up my street food video, so if there's really frog there, I'll have one. I don't know, they look like frogs. Do you know where we can eat, um, find frog? No, 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 um, frog. I'll show him the picture. Okay, okay. I'll show him the picture. Let me find the cell. That's me on my TikTok. <laughs> I have so many pictures. Wow. You look fancy. Look at my Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> you know who that is, right? Yeah, of course. I, I like Johnny Bravo a lot. It's an amazing cartoon. Las Aventuras de Johnny Bravo. Oh, yeah. To, 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 to. Wow, this is Looking good, huh? Gladys gave me those eyes. Ooh. Yeah, you look like a person now. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. That's me, and I'm sorry. Well, I was kidding with you. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Here you know is. what's weird too? Sometimes I feel like I look disgusting with my hair outgrown, and then I tell Gladys, "How's my hair looking?" She's like, "It looks amazing." And I'm like, "What?" Well. Final details. Look all the hair. Ah, oh, this is cool. Look, the hair dryer. It's hair dryer, is it? Mm -hmm. Hair dryer. It's uh, attached to the, to the chair. Wow. That's cool, actually. Oh man, I'm impressed. Oh yes. Here is the frog I ate. Do you know? You know where we can find? Right here. Right here. No? <laughs> she ate. Look. Okay. Yeah, she... No. She ate. Okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they thought it was funny. You like? It's good. good. Yeah. Joy chip. I want to eat. Joy chip. Yeah. Joy chip now. Choi chip nyam. Choi chip nyam. Okay. Choi chip nyam. Choi chip nyam. Don't cut. Don't cut. Okay. Don't cut. Choi chip nyam. I have to try. You look good, my friend. Let's take the the audience for a. Uh, Barber tour and barber shop tour. Here they have all the. Oh, look! Leonardo DiCaprio. I like all the barber um, tools. Cooling powder. Oh, here is um, like a teaching salon. Look. With the bar. The model that is so cool. Here is another model with all the sections in the hair. The section to get your shampoo and massage. I really, really want mm, to get one of those. All the barbers from here. I really like the walls. That's a vintage touch they put. 
uh, everything is blue this one looks like Prince Royce wow almost the same and let's see how is Chris going I think everybody watching this video right now is happy that you came in really <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section if you let us save the day. <laughs> I gave them a tour. How was it down there? Beautiful? Yeah, they have a teaching board wow. with models. You know what I love most about this haircut? That he was extremely fast. I mean, how much minutes are on the clock? Like 20, I think. Not bad. Is that fast for a burger? I think that's really fast. Yeah, 21 minutes. Wow. You're about to finish? Yeah. How do you know? I can just feel it. I can sense the vibes that we're almost done. the scissors from the bottom to the top I need to get to get a job um, how do I call this narrando as a, as a filmer no like um, narrando los videos lo que pasa doing voice Oh, and narrating video. videos. Narrating videos. You yeah. want to narrate videos? Yeah. You're doing a good job. Look this technique from the bottom to the top with the scissors. <laughs> now he's getting to this part of the head. Approaching to the hair in the top. <laughs> Don't laugh because you're screwed the technique so please stay quiet and calm now he's taking another tool and with the calm I don't like that calm because it's not Hello Kitty oh look at that he's doing the line I think that. What do you like the most? Venezuelan barber chops? 
Okay. Yeah, Venezuelan barber shops hand down are the best. If you guys want to see those experiences, man, you have to see them on my Spanish channel because they're insane. We cut our head in the hood in Caracas. Actually, I got one video on, on my English channel as well. Yeah, if you get it, go check it. Because this boy went to the hood in Caracas City, one of the most dangerous cities in the world. Um, but believe it or not, Chris says it's not unsafe city. I think it's okay. Nothing happened to me. I was there for four months. You've seen worse? I've seen worse. I feel a lot unsafer in my city. That's true. What do you have to say? Relax, relax. Relax their hair, their head. I have to say in LA there's crazy stuff happening. They're gonna have a nice line. <laughs> My ladders cracks me up, guys. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think she's funny. She's hella funny, dude. Wow, this is a bomb haircut. Not even gonna lie, you guys. The sideburns are little. Show the sideburns. What is the sideburns? Oh, las patillas. <laughs> Se llaman patillas? Yeah. Especially after eating all that food. Wow, that was savage. <laughs> <laughs> that was savage. We ate a lot. You ate a lot? You did too. No, I didn't. I just... There's proof on your channel. No, guys. I just stayed a little bit and that was it. the blow dryer and the comb. I just can't do it. You gotta learn. Nice learn. That way you can do this every morning. You gotta learn. But I can learn too, yeah. I got a video where my head's all messed up. Oh la la. That's great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I don't like the Can we trim this yeah. over? Thank okay. you.
It's okay. I haven't done my nails neither, so we're right, hand to right. hand. Do you have a video with your hair mess? I have a video with my nails messed up. Now you're ready for your hostel party. <laughs> yeah, we are staying in the hostel now. It's flat as its first time ever. We're not staying in bunks though, to be honest. We got private room and it's super nice. A lot nicer than everything else we found in you know, Penn, believe it or not. Oh, this, this would be the best part, powder. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That looks fun. That is fun. Now I now I feel I need my shampoo massage. I feel like you need one too. We should go get you one. Yes, please. Let's go. Yeah. 
Pin Lola. Seven Lola. Pin Lola. No real? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many real? Um, $7 times 4 is 28,000. How many real? Oh, 28,000. 28,000. Vamos a preguntarle si. No, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 28,000. 28,000 for a nice haircut. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, guys, that was amazing. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. There was a bit of miscommunication because outside, he told us $1 for the haircut, didn't he? I don't know. He told us $1, but it's fine. $7 for a nice haircut. You can't even go wrong. And that was a little bougie barber shop. There was a lot on the streets that are pretty crazy looking, but that one was nice. So, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Clocking out from this small little barber shop right here in Pete on Penn. Hope you enjoyed that video. See you guys soon for another one.